I forget where the portal thing. Oh, there. Where did you guys take off to? I went to the lost city with Tyler. I don't know where Aaron's okay. heading. Let's talk about Borderlands 3. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I am super duper, super excited for that game. Tell us why. Just because in the tra it shows so much in the trailer. There's just too much in the trailer to t talk about. It's It just looks amazing, and I can't wait to play it. Guns with legs. That's about it. Yeah, guns with legs. <laughs> It's been a while since I've played Borderlands, so you look at it and you're like, yep, that's Borderlands. Not that that's a bad thing, but then it's like, go back and watch a video of what, or play border, the old Borderlands games, and you'll be quickly like, oh, that game looks way better. Like, it's, yeah. it's a pretty big jump. The Borderlands 1 remaster looks actually really cool because they're actually adding stuff to the game. Did they just announce that? Yeah, they announced it the same day as they announced Borderlands 3. Nice. By the time it comes out, I have a feeling like we'll find out more about what they've done, you know, to kind of modernize it. Made for people who want more Borderlands. Yeah. <laughs> I got pretty burned out on Borderlands for a while, I'll admit, because I played the crap out of it. I mean, I played, literally got 100% of the achievements for Borderlands 1, including every single DLC pack. And then I didn't end up getting quite that far with Borderlands 2. Unfortunately, we just played so much of it that we just got kind of burned out and never got around to playing the best DLC in the game, which was the Tiny Tina. Speaking of Tiny Tina, as you see her in the trailer, she's like way grown up now. Oh, that's cool. I, I thought I saw her. I wasn't sure or not. She just twirls around and she has bunny ears now. Did you see Brick? Yes. That was the funniest and best part of that whole trailer. That was so cool. It's like holy crap, Brick like has a mustache and is like playing the saxophone. Oh, that's when who I, that was. Yeah. Wow. When I watched the trailer, I was like, yep, that's Borderlands. <laughs> you know what's gonna be interesting? So they had a lot of people leave the company since the last time. Well, really since two. There's people that didn't even pre sequel. But the most interesting thing that that I wonder what they're gonna do is um, the guy who voiced Claptrap left the company too. Thank goodness. Claptrap is amazing. It's okay. so easy for people to. His voice though is so generic and robot. Anybody generic. could imitate that voice. That's pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, probably. Just suck some helium and then you'll sound just like him, so. Yeah. I'm just sad it's not a, not a battle royale. <laughs> you're, you're saying that on purpose. You're so funny, Tyler. I know. That's so funny. I'm just not even going to say anything. Tyler, no. <laughs> I heard Giant Bomb a while ago share some thoughts on things that they thought would be really disappointing if, if the people who are working on Borderlands, if they're not paying attention to like what's happening with Destiny right now. Really? And there's, well, that's there's, really there's, dumb. There's, well, why is that dumb? Because I don't think that they, sh I don't think game makers should be paying attention to what's cool. I think they should be paying attention to what they enjoy making. I don't think it's necessarily paying attention to what's cool. I think it's more like paying attention to great new ideas. There are definitely new vehicle types and stuff, but it's like to look at that trailer and be like, well, it looks like they just added like, like a little robot. Well, in all hopefully, honestly, I, hopefully I thought it just looks like Borderlands to me. Right. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Right. So Which, then why is it like... just more DLC? It's more than a DLC because it's a complete overhaul. It's a brand new everything. It's on a new system. It's a new game. It's clearly, very clearly a new game. I wasn't so, arguing that it wasn't a new game. I just simply think that people who say it just looks like more Borderlands, I think that they're right. It is just more Borderlands. It's just the... So there's people who like Borderlands. It's like, dude, give me, give me another Borderlands, and, and I'm all on it. I can't get enough of it, right? Okay. So, but then at the same time, I totally get there's a lot of different personalities out there, and you know, some people, it's like, dude, I already experienced that. Like, you gotta, you gotta do something new, or we'll and see. that's actually that's valid too. So here's the thing. I don't, I don't think that's actually valid, and here's the reason why I don't think yeah, that's it valid. Is. It's like what you said earlier. If someone's like. Eh, I'm kind of burnt out on Borderlands. Like, I would be, like, I'm very excited that, that they just announced the new Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I don't expect other people to like that game. I don't understand why people wouldn't like that game. 
but if the people are like, eh, I'm not really into like that whole edgy type, dark underground underworld scene of like California, Las Vegas, and stuff like that, I'd be like, okay, that's fine, go play Borderlands. And so, like, in the vice versa, I wouldn't want, if I liked Borderlands, I wouldn't want someone complaining that Borderlands looks just like more Borderlands, when all I would really want is more Borderlands. Just like, I don't want someone complaining that Bloodline the Masquerade, you know, it looks just but more like more Bloodlines the Masquerade. There's some things that just, like, really strike you and you really enjoy it, right? So, like, Aaron, you really like that, whatever, it's such a long title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call it the masquerade. You okay. really like the masquerade. Right. That's something that really hooked you and you thought it was really cool. And so you're like, wow, man, yeah, like that's so cool. I played Assassin's Creed. Like, I liked Assassin's Creed. I played Assassin's Creed 2. I liked it. Right. You know, at the time, people were like, what'd you think? I was like, oh, you know, that's pretty cool. But I was, it never, like, it never really grabbed me. It was good, you know? It was good. It's uh, it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's like no, I, it's what you it's I what think, you said is how it's explained. You just said it, it's right. good. You know, it's so not it's something good. that you're obsessed with, but it's good. You could literally say that it's, it's another. Z What'd Zelda. you say? But, oh, Zelda. But see oh, now, okay. See now, that's actually a really good example of a situation where they took risks and they tried to do something really like fresh and new with Zelda and and with Breath of the Wild. The interesting thing is, is that it ends up being so polarizing because i've heard both camps i mean i've heard people say that is the worst zelda i've ever played in my life i hate it and i've heard other people say that's like the I, most amazing game i've ever played and i can't even believe it it's i'm actually mind. i'm actually in the group of old farts who think that it's <laughs> uh one of the wor worst zeldas and that it's just trying to be more like skyrim I, give me link to the past man link to the past i'll take i'll get I'll, I'll give you ocarina of time but link to the past that was zelda this breath of the wild this is just new age right. New age Hold nonsense. On, the way I interpret Breath of the Wild is that I don't treat it like a Zelda game. It's That's just what... a good game in general. I don't treat it like a Zelda game because it's not really. It's just it's it's an extreme departure from the series formula. That doesn't mean it's a bad game. It's just not a Zelda game. It's the same right. argument as Resident Evil 6. It's actually a pretty decent shooter, but it's not a Resident Evil game at all. Resident right. Evil 6, you think, is a decent shooter? Yes, I do, actually. It's oh, very okay. fun. I thought the, there was nothing. Okay, I can't. I, I'll be honest. I haven't actually played Resident Evil 6, but I was told that it was just bad game, period. No, it's, it's you're not, not confused. You're not confusing it with Resident, oh. Resident Evil 7, right? Because Resident Evil 7 is a huge difference. I, I kind of like what they did with Resident Evil 7. Hell to Breath of the Wild is a fantastic game. It's super fun and you can play it for hours, but it's not a Zelda game. It doesn't play like a Zelda game at all. Okay, I, I will accept that. That I've never, that's the first time I've ever heard you actually say that and I accept that. I think what is smart for companies like that is do another classic formula game and also keep doing you know different stuff that's actually like i'm impressed with nintendo right now because they're really branching out a lot with the zelda franchise well, see here's they're... here's what my thoughts are when it comes to companies branching out so super metroid is one of the greatest super nintendo games ever made and when retro studios came to town with a 3d version of it a lot of people were skeptical about it, but I thought that Metroid Prime actually did a great job at mm -hmm. capturing Super Metroid for the Super Nintendo, but as if you were inside that suit. You know what I mean? Right. Like uh, they yeah. kept they kept it within that world, like, where like I haven't played that much of Breath of the Pile or Breath of the, Breath of the Pile. This shot Breath of the Pile. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but the little bit that I have played it, it doesn't. It didn't feel like I was playing a Zelda game. It felt like I was playing some kind of like open world Shadow of Colossus. It didn't have like weapons are always breaking, so you have to constantly be yeah. gathering resources I'll to admit, build. That part is very annoying. I was so reluctant to play 3D Zelda and I've played Wind Waker. Wind Waker, see, Wind Waker's a good Zelda game. I think all those 3D Zelda games are good Zelda games because they capture tr the true spirit of Zelda. Where I feel like they kind of took the title Zelda and then just 
based a whole different game on it. I don't necessarily agree with the whole idea that this game has to stay and be this certain thing. I thought it was cool when Castlevania went more non-linear and did more of a Metroid thing in their own way. How many uh, level by level Castlevanias did you expect them to make, you know, throughout the rest of history of time? You know, it's like, it's like after a while, it's just like, it's time to do something new. I've played enough of these now give me something different. I feel so sorry for game developers because basically right. then they're told, hey, we want to have the same experiences, but we want, it to, ha we want to have the same thrills as we did the right. first time, but it can't be the same experiences. The magic of the first time you experienced Franchise X was that it was a mystery to you and there were things to discover. And that's that was one of the things that impressed me when I played Dark Souls 2 was that they tried to mix things up and they tried to subvert your expectations. It's like you painted a picture and everyone right. says that picture you painted is lovely, it's amazing, it's wonderful. Please paint us another. We'll throw our money at you, paint us another. And so then they go and they paint another right. and it ends up being so, terrible. There's a difference. There's a difference between changing things and innovating things. I think innovating is 100% super okay, but yeah. the, just, the, the, when well, I'd hope so as a Nintendo oh. fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I don't even, I didn't even hear what you said, but anyway, um, <laughs> the, the, you don't have to, like, make the game basically a different genre just to get more sales. From Borderlands 1 to 2, mm. Borderlands 1 was just the basic kill stuff and they drop guns and that's it. Like there's mm. some big bosses and everything. The second game just built on that, fixed all the issues, added a few things to the same basic formula, but it's still Borderlands. When people mm. say the trailer just looks like more Borderlands, but I feel like they're judging it way too quickly. I don't disagree with that. I, I would agree that they're judging it too quickly. You can't really judge a game until you play it. That's what I think. Right. I judge a launch trailer. They just revealed the game. Like, right. of course it's gonna look like Borderlands, but there's gotta be like some, some huge innovations there. The first trailer that they showed mm -hmm. for uh, Mario Odyssey, they didn't mm -hmm. show a single thing about the capture mechanics and the fact that you can throw your hat and capture things. Mm -hmm. they, didn't sh they didn't show a single thing about that. All they showed is that you can throw your hat. So, yeah. and people, like, when they showed the second trailer where you can actually, like, take stuff over and, like, be the enemies, that blew yeah. people away. When a studio is developing a game, they should mm -hmm. develop it from the perspective of the consumer, like what the consumer is gonna like, not what's gonna get more sales. That's what advertising's for. This is just this is just food for thought in the future. So something to consider, Jake, at 21 years old. I had no concept of this until I was in my 30s. But you absolutely start to become more aware of, of your time. First of all, you don't have as much time as you used to have, depending on your life circumstances. So you end up with less time the older you get, typically speaking. You get older and suddenly all of these really big titles and stuff like Fallout and stuff like Just Cause, and you know, all these, all these games that you can easily dump like over 100 hours into. You look at these games and you go, man, that's just like a huge time sink. I just don't... I just don't even know if I want to even play that. Even with stuff that you're really interested in sometimes, you're just like, I just don't have time for all that. Now, all that said, all that said, I, I definitely think it, it's, it's silly for individuals to uh, judge a game. And then it's even more absurd. I'm not quite exactly sure what Polygon said about the game, but I've heard that there's been some companies that have been pretty like down on Borderlands there's some weird bias going on there. I don't know what they stand to gain from being so quick to say that stuff, but it seems kind of silly to me. I had heard that Polygon like really dumped on that that trailer that, yeah, for the well, new Borderlands. Right, well I saw that. Yeah, I saw what they were doing with there. And I can't help but wonder if it has anything to do with like all the 
all the there was a lot of like rumors and weird stuff out there about Randy Pitchford. Who is with um, Gearbox or with Polygon? With Gearbox, he's with Gearbox. He's kind of like the creative this, lead. But what? How does him being the the executive uh, of Gearbox affect Polygon's opinions? There was like some kind of weird like rumor going around about Randy Pitchford and some like crap on his computer or something crazy. I think when it was actually investigated, like nothing came of it. Yeah, All but it takes then, is a rumor. Yep, but that's the world we live in right now where if, you know, if someone were to say something like that about me, you have to imagine that I'm actually someone people know. Even if the evidence points towards like, well, there's nothing there, it still like sours your reputation uh, yep it still sours your reputation it's unfortunate yeah. and that's why you know people are so quick to put that stuff out there i don't even know how to get out of the place i'm in i can't even find the exit do you not have a town portal i probably do sometimes i forget about that oh i found you guys oh good dean don't you go dying man what are you doing do you guys hear they're like a genesis mini they're, yeah, they already made one of those. Well, they're gonna try again because Nintendo did it right, and so then they, initially they were gonna just use the same company they did last time. People weren't really impressed with the quality of theirs the first time, and so I wasn't. I wasn't either. We actually bought it and returned it. I'm glad they're working with somebody different. I th I'm pretty sure they are. Well, they're all just using a pie, right? Like, everybody's just using a Raspberry Pi. If you open those things up, all that's inside there is just a British pie. Which is why people have added so many games to it. All those sites with the ROMs, there's no ROMs anymore. Uh, there, there's a couple True. sites that still work. You can Don't name wrong. them, though, because but they're I'm gonna, not going to name we're them. We're not going to name them because they're records of our past history. Article 13 passed, and I am angry. Explain What's to me Article what 13? Article 13 is. And where did it pass? It's, I think I remember. It's an article that was passed in the EU. Basically states that anything, including images, that has an original copyright owner, the person or website that holds that image or video can be sued and, ha and fined for that copyrighted material. The way this works, YouTube could be shut down in an instant. Hmm. So could Google Images. I'm pretty sure what I was reading, granted it was a jest, somebody was poking fun. Put like uh, generic music, like copyrighted music over like Nazi rallies and whatnot. And once once they fine it, they would make money off of Nazi rallies. Germany is like a prominent EU country. I thought that hmm. was pretty funny. How that could happen. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, YouTube is going to be forced to build on top of their already broken copyright system. So days of YouTube are limited. Any sharing website, for that matter. <laughs> the so the internet? Then what's the point of the internet? Exactly. That's why it's so bad. Well, and I'm pretty sure if it's really that strict and extreme, it's not going to work out. They might pass it, but it's not going to work out. Unless they just want to delete the internet. It's supposed to be put into action in two years, is what they said. So That's not much time. I'm running out of time to make money off YouTube. I'm sure they'll pull some bogus revision to make it work. Hey, who can I buy? Um, I need to buy potions. Uh, there's a guy in town somewhere. Where, where are you guys right now? Because, uh... I don't touch magic because I'm not a coward. Dead Cells, man. I love... I love the traps in that game. I want to get that game, but every time they have it on sale on good old games, it's only like 20% off, and it's already a $25 yeah. game. You guys here? You here? What? No. Streets of Rage 4 is a thing. Yes, yeah. that's a great topic. I didn't hear that. Streets of Rage 4 is coming out. I what, what's I it gonna? You guys that. I never knew was, that. Was, what's it gonna be? On? Wasn't, the, wasn't Streets of Rage originally like one of the, like arcade machine games? No, Final Fight was. Streets of Rage is on the Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's keeping like the same style, but it's got like this this cool. I like the look of it. Lighting. I think I had heard they got the same guy back for the music. Really? I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's a possible I thing. Hope it's, so. got the, it's got the same sort of 80s style drum and synth. 
Yuzo Kashiro. Yeah, I think it's cool that they brought Blaze and Axel back. I was wanting some time for us to do kind of like a podcast get together at Updown. Did you get I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII. I saw that when we came to drop off that computer. Which, by the way, did you have everything you needed to start that computer up? When I turned on your computer, it like beeped at me. I'm back, but now I gotta get going, so. Oh, then they came back to say goodbye. Thank you so much Thank for hanging out for with being us. Thank you part of the group. Heck yeah, no problem. We'll see ya. Okay. What are you still doing here? It's over. Go home.